Hey everyone, welcome back, and in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and trim a video, right? Because sometimes when we upload videos, we might want to skip out some parts from it. Sure, the user can do his video processing before uploading the video, but sometimes we want to provide that functionality for the user, right? So, how do we go about implementing video trimming? So before uploading the file, we want to display it and we want to allow the user to choose where he wants to trim and then upload it, okay? So first of all, let's go ahead and display the video that we're going to upload, right? So in my index.cshtml, I'm going to go ahead and create a video tag. I'm going to delete all of this nonsense. I'm going to put a muted so you don't have to hear the awful sounds of the video. And that's it. We're going to leave it like this. Uh, next thing, I want to add a, a section script to this page and a script tag, right? So this is where I'm going to write my JavaScript. And then here I want to create a function, which I'm going to go, uh, go ahead and say that it's open file. Okay, and then here I'm going to pass the event. So whenever this file changes on change, I'm going to go ahead and call the open file function. I'm going to pass the event here. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take the file from here. So event dot target dot files, and I'm going to grab the first one. So I got my file. Then I want to go ahead and grab this uh, video element. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, say uh, template video player. Okay. And I'm going to create a variable to store this video player. So variable video player equals document uh, get element by ID. Pass in the function here. All right. So I got my video player. Uh, and I got my file. What I want to do is basically somehow display that file in the video player. And the way I can do this is I can basically forge a URL inside of the browser uh, without uh, actually submitting it anywhere. So that URL is going to be contain is going to be a base64 um, string. So we go to URL and create object. Oh, create object URL. And here we are just going to pass the file, right? And this is going to be our URL. This is built into, uh, this is basically a JavaScript interface that you have access to it. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the video player. I'm going to set attribute and I'm going to set the SRC attribute and I'm going to set the URL to that SRC attribute, right? So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. All right, so there is my template video player. I'm going to go ahead and choose a video. All right. And let me actually set the width here to 300. Uh, there we go. Let me do this again. All right. So you can see this video. Uh, it's taking me a while to do this trick. So I don't, I want to upload this trick, but I don't want to basically do all this six seconds or whatever, where I'm just kind of gathering up myself just to do a little fail, right? So I want to trim the video and uh, let's say I want to trim a little bit of the end here where I like miserably get off the ground, etc. So I'm not going to be creating any stylish UI. I can leave that task up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create two inputs. Uh, these will be, I'll say just uh, numbers and I'm going to say start here and I'm going to send end here and uh, that's about it. So, so there we have them. So what I want to do is I want to select the video and I want to input the numbers for where I want to trim and then pass them to a controller, right? So let's stop this. Let's go into a home controller and let's implement these uh, two integers. So int start and int end. Okay. And then I want to accept them in my convert video. Okay. Just like so. And let's pass them here. Start and end. Okay. Now I'm not going to trim it just yet. I'm just going to make sure that we are passing in the parameters. I'm probably going to throw an exception when 
gonna come here. So I'm actually just gonna put it here. I'm just gonna say five and one. And this is five, one, this is null. And it throws an exception that that was null. Fine, cool. So we have our start and end of where we wanna trim. Uh, next thing, I wanna use uh, this FFmpeg wrapper to essentially do the trimming. So it's super simple. All we have to do is create a basically two time spans. And again, all this information is coming from the document documentation for the Xabe FFmpeg wrapper. So let's create a start span. And we're going to take time span from seconds, start. And then I'm going to copy. I'm going to pass an end here. And I'm going to say end span. We're going to put a breakpoint here to see what these values are when we reach this. Uh, actually, wait, I'll keep this breakpoint here. And then when we create our video stream, this is where we want to use a method called split. And here we want to provide our time span. So start span and end span. So let's go ahead and run this. Let me choose a file. Again, same file. And let's see whereabouts do I want to cut. So let's say I want from the sixth second. And I want a up to ninth second. So yeah, up to ninth second, that will be all right. And basically this part where I'm getting up, that's going to be cut. So let's see what we have here. And this is six, six seconds here. And this is nine seconds here. Now, one thing you will get caught by is the reason why you should be checking method implementations, right? So uh, the name for the parameters is start time and the second one is duration, all right? So uh, here where we're passing end span, it's uh, nine uh, seconds. So we are actually passing it in as duration. So we need to calculate the duration uh, using our end span and start span, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So let's say var duration equals end span. So where basically where I set the ending minus start span. So that is the duration. So this is my end point. This is my start point. Everything in between is the duration. And that's what I want to pass in. Okay. Uh, make sure that created no files. Let me delete this file here. Okay. Let's run this. Okay, let's choose a file again. So I wanted six and nine. Submit. Okay, so our duration is three seconds uh, right between these. So that's all good. So we got the media info and now the conversion happens. Do, 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 do. And there we go. So here's the video. I go in, I fail. And you can see that it's essentially trimmed it right to the bone there. So let's actually go again. You can submit double values here. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's, whoop. let's say double. I'm going to say double here and I'm going to pass doubles here as well. Okay. Uh, let me delete the videos. Fire this up. And I'll, again, I'll say 6 and 9.5. Let's do 6.5, actually. And let me remove these uh, number thingies here. Since it doesn't like them, I'm okay. I will trust myself to input a number and not break any validation. And 9.5. And okay. Let me choose a video as well. Let's submit this. Okay, so now you can see that the duration is still the same. We just basically shifted it half a second. So let's see what we get. Okay, so now I'm going in quicker. And have the full fall without me getting up. 
So you can see that the video is being trimmed. You can pass uh, double values to trim it uh, as precise as you'd like. Uh, the perfect approach to this would be having a slider with uh, two handlers, which you slide around and uh, you're using some sort of a pre-built component or you build it yourself if you know how to. Uh, I don't want to put this in this video because that might consume some time. This video is about uh, processing videos and not building sliders, right? But essentially, the service of scaling down videos and trimming them is here. The UI part, that's something else that you can go ahead and learn. Use this in a framework. Uh, you have the JavaScript here. And uh, in the following videos, I'm going to show you how to upload the video using JavaScript. If you have watched the first video, you are already know how to do it. But anyway, this will be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And as always, see you in the next episode.